miss you. Me too. I want to send you a nice fruit basket. I want to miss that guy. It's for the show. What'd you say? See if anybody listens to the show. <laughs> Nobody's listening anyways. Oh, anyway, what are, what are we even doing here? Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. (laughs) The Devil's Advocates Radio Show is broadcast under a time brokerage agreement between Devil Radio and Civic Media Inc. Some portions of this program may be pre-recorded. Warning, you're about to listen to the greatest radio show ever. And due to contractual obligations and to shield our airwaves and corporate licensees from any semblance of liability, responsibility, and gullibility, we must tell you the views represented on this show are not necessarily those of this station or its management. This radio show contains differing points of view on current political topics, and due to the nature of its contents, it should be heard by everyone. Thank you for listening. Now live from the Civic Media Studios in Madison, Wisconsin, where the political party is just beginning, welcome to the Devil's Advocates Radio Show. Friends proving it's never personal, only politics. Please allow me to introduce myself. And now, here's your hosts, Dom and Crute. Welcome to the Devil's Advocates Radio Show. It's Election Day Tuesday. It's Opening Day Tuesday. It's Donald Trump and Green Bay Tuesday. Welcome to the party, pal. Happy Tuesday, Crudy. Aaron stepping in today, Rich, out of the Brewer game. Nice life, Rich. Uh, Brewer's up right now, my understanding, and thank you for joining the Devil's Advocates. The political party starts right now. Two nothing. It's over. It's over. You, you just <laughs> Devil's Advocates from here on out. We'll we'll yes. update you if the score changes. But anyways, I appreciate the hearty souls tuning in for the politics on this yes, fine right, Tuesday. Baby. That's why we it's show election up day. Every day. it's you election day. Today? You vote today, Crudy? You know I did. Oh, well done, sir. I even posted a little video of me leaving the polling station because the rain, the rain wasn't enough to trigger me to get up and go vote. I had to wait for the the really hail-like sleet to start coming down. <laughs> so it was a little painful, you know, to go, ah, ah, oh, ah. You know, it, it hurt a little when I left the car and I went into the polling station in Middleton, Number 436 at the St. Bernard's Catholic Church. Oh, wow. What, what time University was University Avenue. What time? Uh, 1.30 p.m. All right. All right. Didn't get up super early. Just thought I'd better knock it out before the show because, you know, sort of our custom to chastise the other <laughs> if they've not voted yet. So I went through the sleet to vote and I came out and we had a full on snowstorm by the time I left the polling station. And now we got a couple of inches of slushy crap on the roads it's going to be a hell of a drive on the way home can't wait for this to get to milwaukee just in time for the brewer game to break oh come on you know it's usually war it's cooler by the lake crudy uh you know it's going to hold off for a while i think in milwaukee still raining right now so folks if you're out there listening area be careful out there the northern parts of wisconsin getting hammered as well to my understanding uh but crudy i did have to dig up the rain jacket wait 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 yeah, yeah. Be- before you tell me about your voting, since we're doing the news, sports, and weather here from the <laughs> yeah. top down, yeah. Green Bay, Green Bay, where Donald Trump's supposed to be, you know, pulling into Austin's trouble right about now. Hail They're expecting is as fire upon the ground. Oh no, no. Okay. Ten plus inches of snow expected in oh. Green Bay. They're Ooh. getting hammered. We had Jim Schmidt, our friend, the former mayor, drove down there, and he said it doesn't bother the mega base. They're standing there in the ice storm the snowstorm the crap storm can't wait hundreds of them thousands of them according to jim schmidt they're they're going to pack that room at the hyatt they're going to have quite the turnout and i also took note of the fact civic media sent our entertainment tonight professional pete schwaba you know to do the fine coverage oh pete's up covering excellent well some might send a journalist when the former president comes to the state on election day why i, I I actually agree with the wisdom of sending the entertainment journalist, Pete Schwaba. I mean, Donald Trump is known for being a reality TV star, right? He is. I mean, so may as well treat him as he is. Respect, respect the, the apprentice, the celebrity apprentice that he is. (laughs) Uh, So anyways, Dan, we got 
lots of stuff going on here in the state. And you want to tell me about putting on your I rain did, slicker. Did. I, I did. Now, of course, you did know, you I do like recently. Joni? Did you do like Joni Ertz? Did you put your, your feet in the, the, the plastic? Oh, uh, no. The, the sandwich bread. bags, <laughs> the wonder, the wonder bread bags it under wasn't, it wasn't your glasses on. No, I was, kept my tennis shoes on. I got a little wet, but you know, I'm not going to melt. Uh, but I did have to go through the voter registration process. And, you know, so I jumped online this morning. Like, okay, what do I, what do I need? What do I got to do to do this? Uh, so I, cause my, of course my, my driver's license has my former address on it. I'm going down the list. I'm thinking, well, I haven't, you know, changed my, my bank account yet. That still says my old address and my wife, her name's on the utility bill. So I can't, I can't use that. I was just literally going, Oh, oh, oh my God, my, the banks, nothing, nothing's been changed. The, I found, finally found one thing. And that was the mortgage statement on the new place actually has my name on it. So I took that with my driver's license. It was easy peasy. Didn't uh, pay cash for the new place, Dom. <laughs> oh, no, no. Doing my part. Uh, but it was easy. It was uh, uh, it was only the third person to register, same day register uh, there. And I was think I was like number 87, 88, something like that. Uh, and what time of day nine, was this? Nine o'clock this morning. Nine o'clock. Yeah. Relatively yeah. early, but the already got to get to work and do something. They were already done. So 87. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So do you I'm, think I'm, I'm anxious to see how this turn, what, what the turnout's going to be again. Rainy it's day. It's going to be bad. I was talking to the folks at, uh, I'm, I'm in Bayview now. I was talking to the folks down there. Uh, and although the same day registration was not very busy, uh, they, they thought the, 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 the crowd voting was actually pretty consistent up to that point. All 87 of you. At that Here, point. Here's what I would point out, Dom. A, Team Blue, they already, bank, they already banked these votes, right? I mean, I think the Democratic team has already figured out early voting because you could get a snowstorm on election day, right? It might be inconvenient right. to, to go out in the sleet and the hail and the snowstorm. I would have totally wife's... done that, but I, I there's a time limit, man. You can only register to vote by mail within a certain frame, and I, I missed it badly. And you also had to update your registration. Now, I could have early voted. You know it is my custom since the Mary Burke, the election day that year. I was so disappointed not to have the ability to go cast a ballot that day on election day. I'm just an election day voter, Dom. That's what I am. I will always be that forevermore. So I went and voted today and I did vote no on both referendums. Talked about that a little bit in the three o'clock hour, Dom, but here's something, you know, I didn't see any fault in potentially crossing over in voting in the Republican presidential primary. And I was thinking about this for just a minute, even though the primary effectively over, we've seen some pretty good turnout for, let's say, Nikki Haley, you know, because I'd never vote for Ron DeSantis. He'd remind me of Scott Walker too much, wanker. So it would never be for DeSantis. But I considered, I considered voting uninstructed on the Republican side. Again, that'd be a vote against Trump. I considered voting for Nikki Haley just for a minute. Because I had filled out the entirety of my ballot. I was about to go. I'm like, oh, I forgot the presidential. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I had left my options open. I mean, why would, would you start on the back and work your way forward? I mean, how do you forget? I mean, it's right at the top, man. Well, but I, I did. I started on the contested ballots and I went down the contested races and there weren't a lot of them. I mean, even the judicial races in Dane County, everybody's on a post. I voted in one school board race. And I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know either of the candidates. And then I regretted voting for either of them because for all I know, I just voted for the bad one. I voted B, whichever B was. I voted for the second choice because I figured, you know, whoever gets their name first on the ballot's got that structural advantage. So, you know, I'd, I'd vote for the other choice. <laughs> but I have no idea if that was a good or a bad choice. I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know who was running for school board. I hadn't really educated myself on that level. I knew I was no on the referendums that was on the back of the ballot. So I checked off no, no on those. And then, you know, I thought I was done and oh, oh yeah. President. Oh yeah. 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 <clears throat> so after careful and deliberate thought of nearly 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Really putting some time into that. Curtis. Yeah. Deep, deep, Quite some deep, dedication. deep thoughts with Jack Crudy. <laughs> uh, after nearly 30 seconds of contemplation, I just said, I'm not voting against Trump. I'm voting for Joe Biden. There you go. And it was easy. 
And I said, why did I have any qualms? You know, if I'm trying to show, if I'm trying to demonstrate that I don't support Trump, then go vote for Joe Biden. I'm not going to vote for Nikki Haley. Certainly not Ron DeSantis, Waker wannabe, or any other red not team again. player. Dom. Not again. Never again. <laughs> I learned that lesson. <laughs> That's okay. We, we we all, you know, we, we evolved throughout our life. That's totally acceptable. Never again. I, I told the embarrassing story of the time I voted for Rick Santorum, made me <laughs> feel very, very dirty, tried to extend his primary campaign against Mitt Romney. And I swear, I think, I think Tammy Baldwin might, might have been on the same ballot that day. And maybe I've got it wrong. Cause you wouldn't think on a presidential primary ballot that, but I'm, I might've, I might have cross pollinated, voted on both sides, and invalidated my Rick Santorum vote. That is, that is my only hope for eternal Any redemption. Sort of redemption down, right? That I didn't vote for Santorum because I, I got to think God would hold it against me. So, I think we mystery science theater the Trump speech in the five o'clock hour. I mean, if you're going to have to eat that much broccoli, dude, we got to put lots of cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's up. us. That's We're right. the cheese. We are the cheese to your broccoli. We will be the cheese on the Trump broccoli in the five o'clock hour. But Dom, I don't know if you know the guy I voted for today is coming to my hometown on Monday. This is new news. Joe Biden coming to Madison, Wisconsin next Monday. Damn. He's you know, Dom, you know what's happening that day? That's the uh uh the eclipse day. Joe Biden's going to be in Madison, Wisconsin for the solar eclipse. We're not going to see a complete solar eclipse, but you know what I was thinking about doing? Getting the boat out, getting the travel gear and going out on the boat and broadcasting from the boat. Cause I believe that eclipse is going to happen while we're on the air. So we could, you know, have outside recess. We could do an outside. <laughs> oh man. That's a terrible idea. How you, what kind of, how are you going to get any signal on that boat, man? You know, with a bat <laughs> signal. I don't know, man. You know, it works I'll when we go to a bar. Boat. Why wouldn't it work from the lake? <laughs> I mean, okay. We'll see what happens. It's pretty true. Well, if Joe <laughs> Biden's, and I would invite. Point. Also, everyone's going to be taking pictures, right? Everyone's going to be on their phones, Crudy. Uh, might not be a great idea. Well, if I'm at the, if I'm at the Biden event. No, I wouldn't cover Biden from the boat unless he wants to come on. You know, I've seen Biden actually did some local press when he was in Milwaukee. What about the greatest radio show ever, Joe? Oh, come on, Joe. I voted for you. Wait, wait. Here's here's the here's the tell. Who'd you vote for? In the presidential? Yeah. In the primary today, I voted for President Joe Biden. Well, there you go. Two votes for Joe. That should merit a stop by next Monday when Joe Biden's in town. Say hi. Come on by, Joe. We'll buy you some ice cream. It's fine. We'll we'll hold you if the eclipse scares you a little bit. I've heard don't take your dogs with you. If you're going to watch the eclipse, dogs could get freaked out. More devils. Don't get freaked out, Dom. It's a natural solar eclipse. Sacrifice the virgins. Take one. Eight four four nine six seven two seven eight nine. Res Madison here. What's the best way to clean your carpet? Well, not surprisingly, it's the same way you clean your clothes. You wouldn't clean a dirty shirt by running a white cloth over the top of it, nor would you try to get it clean by sprinkling chemicals and rubbing it in. For a real clean, you need hot water, agitation, and a cleaning agent, just like your laundry. For a fresh, healthy clean with no residue, call Zero Res Madison or schedule online. Zero Res, spell it forward or backward, it's the right way to clean. Hey folks, Stephanie Miller here. As an enlightened progressive, you know how important it is to do business in accordance with your politics. That's why Solidarity Realty is my favorite real estate firm in Madison. Solidarity Realty is a local independent realty company that lives their values. They provide outstanding expertise and protect your best interests while building community and promoting sustainability and diversity. Viva la resistance! Find them today at SolidarityRealty.com. And don't forget, tell them... Charged, never convicted. The Devil's Advocates. I like pleasure, spike with pain, and music is my aeroplane. It's my aeroplane. The Devil's Advocates 
radio show. You can always join the political party on the lines at 844-967-2789. Dominic, I don't know if you saw the breaking news. I found this at the Foxy Digital. Uh, Apparently, there is a movement afoot to rename the airport in Washington, D.C., one of the two, because one of them's Reagan and the other one is Dulles. And they would like these Republicans would like to rename Dulles for Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Rename the airport. Here is the statement from Rep. Guy Russian Thaler, Republican from Pennsylvania, the House GOP's chief deputy whip who introduced the bill Friday along with six co-sponsors. Here's what he said at that time. <laughs> In my lifetime, our nation has never had a greater than under the le- has never been greater than under the leadership of Donald J. Trump. Never greater, Dom. It's millions of domestic and international travelers fly through the airport. There is no better symbol of freedom, prosperity, and strength than hearing. <laughs> Welcome to Trump International Airport as they land on American soil. I mean, is there any grosser, more gross example of gaslighting ever than this idea i think it's a great idea now what uh dom russian thaler's bill is also backed by reps michael walls and the ogles walls from florida ogles from tennessee all republicans chuck chuck fleshman from tennessee paul gozar your buddy from arizona barry moore from alabama troy neils texas according to the website congress.gov that's their source here the bill has little chance of being taken up by the (laughs) democratic controlled senate but if passed it would be the second dc airport named for a republican commander-in-chief after the ronald reagan washington national airport in arlington virginia i love that foxy news says even though it's never going to happen it would be the second time (laughs) uh here is here is more Uh, In 1998, Congress renamed the National Airport in Washington after one of our great presidents, Ronald Reagan. It is only fitting that we would do the same for another one of our greatest presidents, Donald J. Trump, especially as he stands against the onslaught of weaponized government to Uh, fight for Americans like us. What? Come on. The guy's criming all the time. He's finally getting caught for it. And. Yes, it's a weaponization of government. That, yeah, that's what, and everyone in prison is totally innocent. They, no one ever did anything wrong. Uh, Gozar, the rep from Arizona, Dom, said, I can see no more fitting recognition than naming both airports in our nation's capitals after America's two best presidents, DCA after President Reagan yeah. and Dulles <laughs> after President Trump, the two best presidents in American history. Now, I wouldn't you know that porta potty after Donald Trump, and it's got John in the name. That that's kind of mean. That's that's kind of mean, Dom. That's a mean thing to say. You, yeah. And apparently, the Fairfax area rep, that's Northern Virginia, his name Jerry Conley. Here's what he had to say today: Donald Trump is facing 91 felony charges. If Republicans want to name something after him. I'd suggest they find a federal prison. <laughs> yeah. uh, what what else could we possibly name? Uh, what would be more, I don't know, fitting? Fitting, yes, to name after the Donald. Donald We'd like to get behind Trump. this effort. Yeah, I mean, there, I'm, I'm sure there's a lots of different, I don't know, circumstances, things, you know, buildings, bridges, you know, what what, what could we possibly come up with? Besides porta potties, to name after Donald J. Trump. Well, I like the porta potty idea, though. Let's not completely discount that one. 844 967 2789. Wisco, Paul, how you doing, fella? Hey, Paulie. Hey, good afternoon, uh, gentlemen. Um, hey, first of all, um, Mrs. Wisco said after meeting you two several times, you are definitely not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay, because that's okay, but. You I could feel the tension with Mrs. Okay. Wisco. I didn't want to say anything, Paul, but she gave me that that look, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she probably did because um, she's met you several times, and uh, she says Dom's Dom's definitely better looking, though. Crudy. What? What? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Man, she's got a stigmatisms or something. <laughs> She must. She's with you, Wisco. Oh, come on, Paul. <laughs> a sort of a I'm double ball busting happening here, but please continue, Paul. I tease. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to say yes. I went out and voted, Dave, before the snow started, and uh, um, two no's. And uh, because I told Dom yesterday, I hate Trump. I mean, basically, I hate all his policies. You know, I don't want to put so much effort into hating him, but. I hate him anyway, but so I voted for Biden. I just wanted to show, I just wanted to show everybody, hey, Biden has a lot of support in the state, and uh, I can't think of any redeeming factors on why anybody would vote for Trump. But I definitely don't hate the Trump voters. Now, did you get a sticker? I hate the man. They give you a sticker at the polling place, Paul. No, we didn't get a sticker today. What's up um, with no stickers, dude? I didn't oh, get a dude, sticker I, I either. A sticker. I got a sticker, and it's, oh. in Spanish. it's in English and Spanish. Holy smokes, man. They yeah. must like people better in Milwaukee than, than the Madison. Well, they're trying like, to encourage those know. illegals to vote in Milwaukee, apparently, yeah, Paul. Yeah, too, too much voting <laughs> going on, Paul. Hey, Paul, if you were going to name oh, something Lord, after man. Donald Trump, what would it be? Oh, my goodness. Uh... He isn't worthy to have anything named after him, but I'll go with the federal prison or state prison somewhere in Rikers in New York. Change the name to Trump. So oh, there you that's go. The well, they often name right. places after alumni. He could be there soon. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. Paul, appreciate your call. Try to sneak a few more in. 844-967-2789. Mary from Union Grove. Welcome. What do you got for us, Mary? Hi, Mary. Hi. Um, I was just asking. Um, a lot of people have been saying that they're going to be voting uncommitted with the protest to the conflict happening in Palestine and Israel. So I was just no. wondering what your opinion was on that. I think it's appropriate in the primary, Mary, to make this sort of a protest vote, if if it strikes you, if that's your strong conviction, I would do so. I thought about that for a moment at the polling place today. Uh, uninstructed, I think it's called, and you could vote on the Democratic side, uninstructed as, let's call it a protest, to the current Gaza policy. And there's some bad news out of Gala, uh, Gaza today. I don't think this news is going to favor Israel or Biden in the short run. But Mary, um, if, if if that is what your conscience tells you to do, absolutely do it, Mary. But do it now. Don't do it in the general. That no, do it now. Make your do it today, Mary. Do today is a great day for a protest vote. Nobody's listening. That's the best time to protest. Uh, you know, we saw what they did in Michigan, almost 200,000 uncommitted voters. And I'm not sure that that's going to move Joe Biden. Our friend Dr. Harvey K said, you know, this ain't the time. And I agree with Harvey in this case. This ain't the time. I think the alternative is authoritarianism, fascism, Donald Trump. And uh, I don't like the Gaza policy either, but Joe Biden, for me, today, he was my choice. Folks, we're the Devil's Advocates. We appreciate you making us your choice today with all the alternatives you could have. Some better, some worse. No, no. Nothing okay. better. Nothing better. No, just worse. Come back with us. It'll get better. All right. Any thoughts on what song you guys want to come back? I was maybe just going to grab in light of naming prisons after Trump, like Rusty Cage by Soundgarden or something about a prison. Sure. Okay. I love that plan. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Northeast Wisconsin is getting socked with a big spring snowstorm. Parts of eastern Wisconsin can expect anywhere from 8 inches to up to 2 feet of snow the further north you go. Wind gusts are hitting up to 50 miles an hour. Driving gets more difficult the later it gets. People with travel plans should watch conditions closely. About 95% of many non-organic fruits, vegetables, and leafy greens contain detectable levels of pesticides. That's according to the 2024 Dirty Dozen Shopper's Guide. 
Experts say labels don't always tell the whole story. Even if the amount of pesticides are within legal limits on these produce, it doesn't mean it's safe for everyone, particularly susceptible populations like children. Dr. Alexa Friedman is with the Environmental Working Group. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. This is news from WMDX Madison. The Transplant Center at UW Health is celebrating a milestone. The center has performed a 20,000 organ transplant since the program began. UW Health says it's the first and only transplant program in the Midwest to do that many, and only the fourth program in the nation. Transplant patient number 20,000, by the way, is Gary Grossklaus of Wisconsin Rapids. Channel 27 reports he got a new pancreas and a new kidney. Inmates in the Dane County Jail could double their wages under a proposal before the county board this week. Six bucks a about day. About 25 to 30 inmates is, do is jobs like cleaning now or and serving meals. Too. The work is voluntary, Three to six not bucks a day. But those wow. who do That's, see their uh, pay go from $3 wow. a day to 6 Dane County spends about $24,000 on inmate wages every year. Sheriff Calvin Barrett tells Channel 3 not many jails offer inmates paid work. And that's what you need to know. This is WMDX News. The Chance Design Build, we provide remodeling done well with love. Our commitments extend beyond our workplace and your home to support our community. We judge people by the content of their character, not by the color of their skin. And we believe all humans deserve quality, publicly funded education, child care, and health care. But what do you believe in? The Chance Design Build, we believe every person must have the opportunity to thrive. If you're thinking about remodeling your home, go to ChanceDesignBuild.com to learn more about our commitments to you, your home, and our community. I'm Pete with the 60-second Showbiz Beat. Her whole thing is about peaceful solutions. She's not aggressive just to be aggressive. That's what Linda Carter says about the character she helped make famous, Wonder Woman. The 72-year-old Carter spoke about the possibility of Wonder Woman 3, saying she was confused as to why there needs to be an outcry from fans to get the movie made. Carter's version of Wonder Woman turns 50 next month. She played the superhero on TV from 1975 to 1979. Speaking of threes, producer Jerry Bruckheimer gave an update about the status of a potential Top Gun 3. Yahoo News reports that Tom Cruise, Miles Teller, and Glenn Powell will all return for the third installment. Bruckheimer says it's unclear when they can start production due to Tom Cruise's busy schedule, but that Cruise has signed off on a script idea and the script is coming along nicely. Cruise is currently busy filming the sequel to Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, every night between 7 and 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Your news, conversations, and a whole lot of fun. It's all on your local Civic Media Radio station or the Civic Media app. I'm meteorologist Mace Michaels. A winter storm warning continues through tomorrow morning for two to four inches of snow. The snow showers could be heavy at times through the overnight and breezy. Lows in the low 30s. Winter weather advisory for tomorrow for an additional 1 to 3 inches of snow and strong wind gusts to 40 miles an hour. High upper 30s. Right now it's hey, 31. Darcy, I just saw the perfect house. Can you help me write an offer on it? I'd be happy to, Brian. Did you see it at an open house? No, I just called the sign and had the agent show it to me. Right. I didn't want to bug you. Right. Seconds. How many times have you heard me say don't call the sign? All of them. You called the agent working for the seller, and once you see the property with that agent, I'm no longer... The Devil's Advocates, political commentary from the back of the class. Welcome back to the Devil's Advocates Radio Show. I was wondering, when's Dom going to jump in here? Apparently, it's my turn. I appreciate oh, yeah. you waiting for me. I've seen you jump your... Uh, it, does, it does happen occasionally, but I was just jamming on the tune, man. A uh, couple of fine listeners on the text line. Appreciate you listening today. I know you got listening options. We appreciate you choosing the greatest radio show ever, except for you, West from Milton, trash talking out there. Go listen to Euchre. Then. That's what I'd be doing if I didn't have to work. But anyways, here's a few of the other notes. 
Uh, Donna from DeForest says the word of the day is referenda. That's the plural of referendum. Ooh, yes. Okay. Although referendums with an S is actually also accurate. I remember looking it up and referenda is more Latin, but both are correct. And I could not figure out when on earth you're supposed to use either one. So I think it just doesn't matter. We've got a new texture. Thank you, Aaron, on the WMDX line. I'm glad we got some backup on the grammar <laughs> and the spelling. Because I'm sure I'm the one that's been saying referendums that's being corrected by Donna. I feel quite confident. Uh, here's one on the WMDX text line. I went into my very Republican voting location in a Van Orton district a second time immediately after voting and announced I was there to vote again. They were not amused. They did, however, <laughs> accept the payment of my water bill. <laughs> that's a good way to do it. I'm back. You're, you're I'm back, bitches. 844-967-2789. Look who's back. It's our pal, the original Claire. Welcome back, Claire. What do you got? Back again. Hey, Claire. <laughs> hi. Hi, Devils. Um, although, Dominic, I like your idea of naming porta potties after Trump. I thought of something a little more permanent. Okay. All the sewer systems, you know, instead of ma ma uh, blah, 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 Madison Metro Sewer District. The Trump Metro Sewer District. Oh, I, I get it. I, I, and I appreciate it. No, I, I absolutely. But, you know, yeah, sewers are good, man. You know, here in Milwaukee, I, it's, a, it's this sewer socialist. You know what I mean? Don't they call it the big dump, though, when it overflows and dumps into Lake Michigan? <laughs> Couldn't, could we name that the big the Trump big from Trump now on? Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the sewers and the water, that's where we as citizens, we, we pool our money and we 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 we. we invest in infrastructure to bring the water to us and and the crap and the trump away from us right so I, <laughs> True. Maybe parts of the process i'm down with but claire i love the way you're thinking maybe maybe we could call lead pipes trump pipes oh and there, there could be the ongoing removal of the trump pipes there we go <laughs> that's not bad but, but what, about, what, what about an airport though claire i mean of course all the you know the weaponization oh, against please. trump yeah, yeah i mean Give me a break. If they're going to name an airport, God. shouldn't it be in West Palm Beach down in Florida somewhere? Why Why would they do it to D.C.? Other than the fact D.C. doesn't have its own governance. So the, the, the Congress sort of dictates the governance to D.C., District of Columbia and all that. Right. Well, he's one of the great presidents, right? That's well. That's what they're saying now. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Sister, always great to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. 844-967-2789. I love that the original Claire has created a run on Claire's. <laughs> like, I'm also a Claire, uh, but not your turn yet. It's Cam from Nina. Cam's been the most patient. Welcome, Cam. What do you got for us? Hey, Cam. Hey, I don't have anything creative on what could be named after Trump. It's just it, literally nothing would do justice to the man that that is, right? right? But I do think that we could name that airport the Stormy Daniels Airport, <laughs> and I'd be fine with that. Um, I wanted to transition uh, real, just real quick. Maybe you guys can help me out with this because I get really confused. I, I, I hear all the time that people are protesting. I see some clips and stuff of people protesting. And although they remind me of um, protests, like the protests that are towards Biden at any of his rallies for or uh, the um, Gaza Strip related activities, um, they remind me a lot of any of the ones that are paid by companies for um, protesting oil. So I'm not 100% certain that they're like true, true for true protests, but what do they actually expect that Biden can do? Netanyahu doesn't seem like the kind of guy that listens to us at all. And all the officials that have leaked information about like their interactions with Netanyahu has been that he is kind of a bastard. Yeah. We don't like bastard people. Cam, I appreciate your call. Uh, it is my strong belief that the Palestinian protesters that I have seen, and I've now seen them twice, once at a uh, Kamala Harris event on the Wisconsin Capitol Square, and I also saw them, uh, I believe in Waukesha County, that might have also been Kamala, although I know that uh, Biden's come 
to Milwaukee a couple of times recently. And I can tell you every indication I had is that was organic. That wasn't astroturfed. That wasn't like the tea party revolution. That was, you know, a handful of yahoos and then picked up by uh, the Koch brothers network and financed to be a nationwide effort. No, I don't, I don't have that impression. That's not my impression, Cam. I think these are young, mostly progressives. And I think they care about the people of Gaza and they want to see different policy choices. And there is this effort afoot to vote uninstructed in Wisconsin today. Uh, it just didn't strike me. I did not do so because I'm like you, Dom. I'm not sure what, and, and maybe Cam said it, I'm not sure what Joe Biden's role is in setting policy in Gaza. All we can do is pressure. We don't, well, but that's, that's a it's lot. not like I mean, us not setting our you're policy. Talking about, you're talking about the president of the United States and one of Israel's biggest allies. I mean, there's a lot that we could do. I mean, we, he could, he could use the, the bully pulpit. He could not send more. Like arms. Chuck Schumer did. There's, I mean, what's he going to do? Call for the, the removal of Netanyahu right. well, new I, I, election. Not, not to the, not to the, the sense that it would, maybe it would necessarily impact uh, future decisions by Netanyahu. But it would certainly show that, you know, Joe Biden and his administration uh, don't think that, you know, genocide against the Palestinian people is something that should be done. So he could. So do, he's going to strongly discourage genocide. Yes, he's going to strongly discourage genocide. Absolutely. I mean, I, 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 I think you discount the value of the current president, of any president, uh, speaking up in these kinds of terms. And of course, we're, we're big trading partners with them as well. There's a lot that could be done. Uh, I guess, specifically to answer your question. 844-967-2789. The other Claire. Welcome, Claire. What do you got for us? Hey, Claire. Hi, guys. <laughs> Been a while. Uh, I've got kind of a compromise on the renaming of the airport. All right. They could uh, keep some of the letters of the name instead of uh, dumbass, it'd be dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Trump dumbass airport. <laughs> Someone yeah, had recommended on the know. tax line, perhaps just renaming it Dullard, and that would be indicative <laughs> of Trump. Well, that would work, too. <laughs> Good talking to you again. Did you go, did you go vote today, Claire? Uh, no, I did it the, the uh, smart way, I guess. I have winter tires, but I didn't need them. I, I did uh, early voting. You banked your vote, and I suspect that means yep. you're not a Republican, Claire. Uh, anything I can do towards that end. Appreciate it. 844-967-2789. Our pal, Mark from the SAC. Welcome back, Mark. What do you got for us? Hey, Mark. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I early voted, yeah. And to hearing Donald Trump, you know, being brought up to name stuff after is just kind of sickening, considering the guy is under how many criminal indictments and he's already been adjudicated has already been adjudicated guilty on, you know, several of the charges he's, he's, you know, he's faced. It, it is just civil, disgusting. On the civil guys... side, Mark, but on the criminal side, charge, never convicted. You yeah. know, Mark, uh, it, it, senatorial candidate, Eric Hodvey, Hudvey, my understanding will be on the stage, may speak, but it's going to be in Green Bay with Trump today. I think that could be a disastrous mistake for Hudvey's campaign trying to be something of a Paul Ryan Republican. I don't think it's going to work for him either way. I think he's going to get his ass handed to him by uh, Tammy Baldwin. But what do you think about this? Last one I saw on stage with him. Well, we saw Tim Michaels. That didn't work. Nope. We saw Aaliyah uh, Vukmer, <laughs> Nurse work. Ratchet. That didn't work. And, you know, we saw Ron Johnson. So I guess one out of three ain't bad. Well, I, I think Hovde, it's a stretch for for Hovde to be even as smart as Paul Ryan, and Paul Ryan is has has limits. He's he might be a smart guy, but he's got some really pretty dumb positions and pretty. I'm like on Social Security, the man who benefited from Social Security, you know, paying for his college, and his mother benefited for paying for her college so she could get her realtor's license. And the guy wants to yank the rug out from underneath the rest of us. No, he's just, not yanking uh, up the rug, Hubby Mark. Would do the same thing. He's pulling up the ladder behind. Pulling up the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, totally, there you go. Different. Up the ladder. totally different. Totally <laughs> different. <laughs> hey, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. 844-967-2789. Let's squeeze some more in. You can join us. Mark, I'm sorry, Dick from Madison. Welcome, Dick. What do you got for us? Hey, Dick. Uh, real quick, uh, Kurt, are you going to the rally? No. Don wouldn't go. Oh, darn 
I would have oh, gone, but okay. you know how Dom is. He's like an anchor. Gosh, I would have went with you because I would have had a great question to ask of some of those real strong companies, and I'll ask you guys in a second. But how about um, Deadbeat International for the airport? <laughs> I like it. But okay, here here's one for you too. Since he's left office, I read in the Times over the weekend on Sunday, one hundred million dollars in a in legal bills, all paid for by donors, 100% of it, at a rate of 90000 per day. And my lovely wife did the math. That is sixty-two fifty per minute in the last three and a half years that his donors are subsidizing. Wouldn't you like to ask them, look in the mirror and look at yourself and go, am I really sending money to the right guy the um popular is all about helping me yeah well it didn't make much sense to send it to jesus either but people keep doing it dick <laughs> eight four four yeah, nine six seven funny. two seven eight nine we got laux mark from sussex welcome mark how you doing hey mark good good thanks for taking my call and dom i i agree with you there is a lot that Biden can do, but he's not doing. And about a month ago or three three weeks ago, didn't he come out and say that um, he was asking for a ceasefire that was going to happen on Sunday or Monday, That's and yet right. nothing gets yeah. done? Yeah. And again, yeah. and so I, I don't blame uh, the people that are protesting. I don't agree with it because I think that, that it's a bunch of crap, but... Um, and that we should be supporting Israel in this situation. So that's, I guess, Mark, that's you're, you're a little right of center. Aren't you typically, I, I can't believe I'm hearing this affection for Joe Biden's policies. I think Joe Biden's doing a terrible job on this policy. The, I, he, he said that he was going to have a ceasefire in place yet. Nothing gets done. Dom, again, I agree with you a hundred percent. There are things he can do, but he will not do anything because he's afraid of those that that way left 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 wing of protesters. Hmm. So what would he do? Give us one example, Mark. What could he do? Well, I, I, I agree with Dom. I mean, we are a big supporter of Israel. Um, we could go in there. We could give them more money. We could end this thing. It, it can't end with a ceasefire. We're going to go right back to day one. And this crap's going to happen again. But what does it years. end with then, Mark? Complete annihilation of all the, the Palestinians? What What is the end result of your plan? I, I think that's what it's ultimately got to be. Ooh, seems a little harsh to me, my man. I Appreciate mean, your call. Mark, I mean, if you're talking about the, the annihilation of an entire people, that's genocide. And I would hope you would not endorse that. Apparently, Joe's not genocide Joe enough for him. Uh, Come back with us. More Devil's Advocates. Trump speaking in Green Bay after five. Will we serve you your broccoli? Maybe, but lots of cheese on top. Come back. Your phone calls could be next. Brewers, they're up 3-1 in the sixth. 844-967-2789. They're going undefeated. 162-0. Just like the Devil's Advocates. Still, you're returning and never defeated champions of Lefty Talk Radio here in the afternoons. Any thoughts on a song? Uh, how about Paranoid Black Sabbath? Great tune. Okay. Cool.
Grass-fed, locally raised, 100% organic. The Devil's Advocates. Devil's Advocates radio show. You can join us on the lines at 844-967-2789, or you can just download the Civic Media app. It's super cool. Take the Devils with you everywhere you go. Listen to us on the different radio stations on the network. Hit the button to call. Hit the button to text. Find it at your favorite app store. I was just looking at the text line, Dom. Someone said, I'm sure you've talked about it already, but could you please explain the constitutional amendments that are on today's ballot? Sure, we can do it at least one more time. Uh, two referendums. A, please vote no on both these referendums. Sure, there's a cliff note. B, for they're in legalese, and they're talking about amending the Wisconsin Constitution to A, ban the practice of accepting outside money. The supposed Zucker bucks that apparently overly influence like five democratically run communities, well, but the other 195 communities, many of which were Republican run that also needed financial aid and running elections here in the state of Wisconsin. Well, they also took the money, but that's not the way it's characterized. So these Republicans want you to fear outside money. Anyone that would give private donations to help, make elections run better, more efficiently. That's a good thing, folks. We don't want to ban that. Well, and the other thing, hang on, I I just may jump on there. Uh, Number one, that would not be needed if we as a country, as a government, as a people, properly funded our election systems. I mean, literally. I mean, the the fact that we even need to or went to, you know, billionaires to help facilitate this is is pretty obscene. But I also don't want to be, you know, uh, hamstrung to the Republican because if they decide not to fund elections, now we're just scroogey. So vote no. And number two, aren't these the same Republicans that believe money is free speech? So you cannot use your free speech to help support uh, elections, according to the Republicans. Referenda number two, because Donna from DeForest told me referendum is pluralized. Referenda Number two is uh, what? Classifying what are officially elections workers in the state of Wisconsin. Unless you do the job, don't vote on this one. Or just vote no. Because these Republican legislators that put this constitutional amendment forth, they're just going to limit the number of good election workers in the state of Wisconsin. And if you don't do the freaking job, you shouldn't have an opinion on the job. Because you really don't know what you're talking about in most cases. They're still re- litigating the supposed rigged election of 2020 and want to what decertify the outcome four years later. I'm not letting those people decide what's an official elections worker. So again, the encouragement is vote no, and there's still time to vote in the state of Wisconsin. You can vote until 8 PM. If you're in line by 8 PM central time, you can still vote. If you're a Trump supportive, go to the rally, skip it. If you're a Brewers fan, I hope you already banked your vote. And if you're a Devils Advocates fan, you've already voted. <laughs> hell, you're you're just coming here to find out how the other people did it. And we do have a question of the hour, at least. They want to name an airport in D.C. after Trump. A bunch of I think that's a dude. terrible he's idea. Greatest Repub- he's the greatest, one of the greatest presidents ever, according to the sycophant, you know, mega cult attending GOPers, man. They think Trump is the bee's knees. You know, I did meet my DNA daddy on the radio a few years back, Dom, and obviously being a Republican is, is not, uh, it's more of a socialized thing than a, than a hereditary trait. Cause you know, he and I a little different in our politics, but he told me he was the owner of trailer parks in Florida for a period of time. In fact, I think just got out of the trailer park business, but this Trump supportive DNA daddy of mine, I would encourage Chuck. Chuck, you should name it Trump's Trailer World. <laughs> name the trailer park after Trump. I mean, there why not? Go. If you're trying to upscale, just put some gold leaf up there on a sign. <laughs> yeah. Call it Trump's Trailer Park. And, uh, you know, uh, I think it, it upgrades the joint. Trump's going to come looking for his cut, though. Uh, real quick, uh, and thank you for the text, 844-967-2789. Uh, real quick, back to the state of Wisconsin constitutional amendments on the ballot. We we, we suggest you both uh, you bo- vote no on both of them. But I also say this, 
there are, if you are concerned about these kinds of issues, there are legislative fixes to go and try to amend the constitution for something that could be rectified with legislation, but you know, the Republicans can't get their ass together to make it happen. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very, very hesitant to go and, and put something on the constitution every time. Cause of course it's also a, a driving turnout mechanism for them as well. Donna from the forest still chastising me for my lack of grammar. Yeah. No crudy <laughs> referendum two is singular. It is one of two <laughs> referenda, but thanks for trying. <laughs> I am trying really hard here, Donna. I'm just not the brightest of men. You can't, can't deny the effort. There was effort put forth. 844-967-2789. PT from the leftist coast. Welcome back, PT. How you been, man? Hey, PT. Good. Hey, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you know, with this referendum, what the Republicans are doing, you probably discussed this before, but I wasn't tuned in at the time, is they could not get their way through legislative means. They right. couldn't get it passed. They, they couldn't get it, you know. So what are they well, do? Well, Evers would be to it as well. Right, exactly. So they had a little hissy fit, and they're going to referendum to please Trump. Most of these things are on there to please Trump. And it's just, it, to me, vote no on these things. It's, it's The second one especially is just really, really uh, invasive of elections. There will be a million lawsuits that come with that because it's so vague. PT, anyway, let me ask you, you live, you live out in Portland, Oregon. I just saw that your yeah. governor recriminalized drugs overnight signed to recriminalize drugs. I know the half the oh, reason yeah, you yeah. moved out there, so, PT, was the <laughs> lax drug policy. What are you going to do now, fella? <laughs> I'm still going to smoke in the streets, Crudy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> no, no. So, you know, so what happened is they went too far. They went too far. And so then you have all these people in downtown Portland and some of the suburbs just you know, doing the hard drugs out on the streets. And that's what the problem is. They, they have to reverse that, that policy. They went too far. So, yeah, the, the lefties out here uh, learned a lesson that you can't uh, put in those kind of policies and not expect uh, consequences like that. But I have to tell you, mail-in ballots are a thing here. They're, they're all over the place, the, the drop boxes. It's not an issue. People have been doing it for years and years and years. PT, that's why it's all rigged. Appreciate your call, fella. Come back with us. More Devil's Advocates. Perhaps a Trump rally in Green Bay and a little Mystery Science th uh, Theater 3000. Some, some trash talk. That means more Devils. Official bird is the plastic pink flamingo. This is Mad Radio 92.7 WMDX. Hey everybody, it's Tom Obo. Wednesday noon to two is Trinity Olson and Pat Kreitlow live from UW Eau Claire, right here on Civic Media. Hey Dom, how many palindromes can you name in 30 seconds? Uh, race car, mom, dad, reefer, uh, refer, kayak, level. Did I say mom already? You're forgetting one really important one. Zero res. Not only is it the coolest palindrome ever, it's also our favorite. Right, I remember. Why is that again? They advertise with us. Zero res, my favorite palindrome. And carpet cleaner. And carpet cleaner. Get the best carpet cleaning ever. Schedule your carpet cleaning online at ZeroResMadison.com. Tell them the Devil's Advocate sent you. You are listening to Mad Radio, WMDX 1580 AM Columbus, W224EG Madison, and always streaming on the Civic Media app. ABC News, I'm Brian Clark. President Biden spoke with Chinese leader Xi Jinping by phone, a call the White House described as con candid and constructive. It touched on topics that included Taiwan, artificial intelligence and security. The president also spoke with celebrity chef Jose Andres after seven workers with his World Central Kitchen charity 
were killed by an Israeli strike as they worked in Gaza. Could this mean the U.S. would rethink providing aid for Israel? National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby said, You want us to hang some sort of condition over their neck. And what I'm telling you is that we continue to, 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 to work with the Israelis to make sure that they are as precise as, keep, as they can be and that more aid's getting in, and, and we're going to continue to take that approach. A second channel's been opened, allowing boats to bypass the debris following last week's bridge collapse in Maryland. Large ships still cannot get past. Wall Street's worst day in four weeks saw the Dow and NASDAQ each drop one percentage point. This is ABC News. This is your hometown radio, refreshed, keeping you informed, entertained, and connected locally across the Civic Media Network. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Today is primary election day. President Biden and Donald Trump have already clinched their party's nominations. There are two constitutional amendments on the ballot. On-site voter registration is available with proof of residence like a utility bill. You need a photo ID to vote, but it doesn't need to show your current address. Donald Trump campaigns in Green Bay today, weather permitting, his first stop in Wisconsin since clinching the Republican nomination for president. Democratic Lieutenant Governor Sarah Rodriguez says Trump has failed working families and women. Donald Trump has proudly bragged that he was the one who got rid of Roe versus Wade, and he's calling for punishing women who have an abortion. President Biden campaigns in Madison Monday. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Here's what you need to know closer to home. This is news from WMDX Madison. Employees at the universities of Wisconsin will soon get parental leave. Eligible employees will get six weeks of paid time off after a child is born or adopted. The Board of Regents will review the policies Thursday. Full-time employees who've been on the job at least six consecutive months would be eligible starting July 1st. Part-time employees get a prorated amount of paid parental leave based on the number of hours they work. No matter what happens, the Dane County Board will see a major shakeup today. 47 candidates are running for 37 seats. Nearly one-third of incumbents are not running for re-election. Of those incumbents who are running, more than half of them are running unopposed. Only 10 districts have contested races. There are a few races for Madison School Board, and Stoughton and McFarland are two of the many school districts in Wisconsin holding referendums. And that's what you need to know. This is WMDX News. Every business seeks an advantage, whether it's having the best location, hiring top talent, or spotting trends before they happen. And now, the United States Postal Service can give your business a new advantage. Introducing USPS Ground Advantage. Reliable and affordable two- to five-day package shipping. It's the advantage you need at the price you want. Get the Ground Advantage at USPS.com slash advantage. The United States Postal Service. Delivering for America. It's the Brewers opening day. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports, the Brewers and the Twins. Milwaukee jumping out to an early 3-1 lead thanks to a home run by Christian Yelich. Bryce Sarang with a pair of hits, including an RBI double. A full recap coming up after the game. NBA, the Bucks are in Washington, D.C. to play the Wizards, but they'll be without Damian Lillard tonight. He's dealing with a groin injury. The Bucks trying to secure their second seed in their conference. Chris Middleton. We need it. We're going to have to find, find it as quick as we can. And into playoffs, you always want to be somewhat playing your best form our best style of basketball. So I think we're in a great spot. We've been through, you know, some rough road trips out on the West Coast, but we learned a lot from ourselves and we've survived them. I mean, um, we had a couple bad losses, but still won a couple games. We're still in this two or two through three, four, whatever playoff race. So we're in a good spot, I think. Now we just want to, you know, figure out ourselves and like I said, play the best basketball um, heading into the playoffs. That's the Bucks' Chris Middleton from American Family Field with sports. I'm Mike Clemens. I'm meteorologist Mace Michaels. A winter storm warning continues through tomorrow morning for two to four inches of snow. The snow showers could be heavy at times through the overnight and breezy. Lows in the low 30s. Winter weather advisory for tomorrow for an additional one to three inches of snow and strong wind gusts to 40 miles an hour. 
high upper 30s. Right now it's 31. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. The Devil's Advocates Radio Show is broadcast under a time brokerage agreement between Devil Radio and Civic Media Inc. Some portions of this program may be pre recorded. Warning You are about to listen to the greatest radio show ever. And due to contractual obligations and to shield our airwaves and corporate licensees from any semblance of liability, responsibility, and gullibility, we must tell you the views represented on this show are not necessarily those of this station or its management. This radio show contains differing points of view on current political topics, and due to the nature of its contents, it should be heard by everyone. Thank you for listening. Now live from the Civic Media Studios in Madison, Wisconsin, where the political party is just beginning, welcome to the Devil's Advocates Radio Show. Friends proving it's never personal, only politics. Please allow me to introduce myself. And now, here's your hosts, Dom and Crute. Welcome back to the Devil's Advocates Radio Show, the Tuesday edition, Election Day in the great state of Wisconsin. Opening day, some would say, or Trump Day in Green Bay. A happier happy hour, because we're about to trash this guy's speech, Dom. <laughs> Trump has taken the stage. You can hear the chance. USA. The Here's Donald Trump. To notice said, the weather. Sir, I don't think we're gonna make it. I said we have to. We can't disappoint Green Bay. There's no way. I said we gotta make it. Not as many times as we I've disappointed my it. wife. There's never been such spirit. Look, we won. In 2016, we did much better in 2028 to say we did a hell of a lot better. But there's more Trump. spirit Just now say. than at any time that we've ever seen because we've seen we've seen how bad they are. They're just bad. They are so bad. It's t- just terrible. But uh, there's never been spirit like this. Never, never, ever. Probably for anyone. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm thrilled to be back in Wisconsin with thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. That's what you are. You built this country. You can see we have an empty podium right here to my right. You know what that is? That's for Joe Biden. I'm trying to get him to debate. Oh, he debates your I'm ass. calling on Cookie Joe to debate, debate any time, any place. We'll do it any way you want, Joe. So that we can discuss in a friendly manner the real problems of our country, of which there are many, instead of trying to have corrupt prosecutors fight your battles for you. That's no good. We got all these corrupt prosecutors, uh, deranged Jack Smith, all of them. These are deranged people. Let's debate outside, Joe. Let's let's go have a good, solid, friendly debate. Just a friendly where our country is going, because our country is going to hell, and we're not going to let it happen. You know, the most important day in the history of our country will be November fifth of this year. When you lose, not long. Before going further, let me add that this is primary night, so get out of here soon. I'll finish this thing real quick so you can go out and vote. Go out and vote. We don't have much of a primary, I must say, but there are a couple of things that you have to vote on. And uh, I appreciate your support. We've had tremendous support all over. I mean, honestly, we won Iowa. We won New Hampshire in records, all records. Nevada, we won. How about South Carolina? We won in records. We won against the governor there. We won in records, a record number. Every place we won in records. So when you're finished, do I have your word you're going to go out and vote? For Joe Biden. If you're watching at home and you haven't voted, go vote. Go get out there. A lot of television back. That's a lot of television. Fake news. news. Go vote. Make sure you vote yes on ballot questions one and two. Do you know what that is? That's Ben Zuckerbucks. 
Ban Zuckerberg. They put up money. Again, they come Scott out with Walker these ballot and boxes. Donald Trump. See, yes, three and the referendum votes in a good question, area for so us, you should vote no. Zero. You know who gets zero? Me. You think that's a real deal? No. You know, we won this state. We won this state by a lot. And it came what? out that we won this you state, did actually. Not win this state. <laughs> well, you know, when you have open borders, think of it. Boo. Someone must be protesting. That's all right. Pay your legal bills if you knock him out. He doesn't offer that anymore because he's got two of his own legal bills. All right. So would we know, perhaps? Again. There's one Black guy. Now, here's what the fake news will do. There was tremendous dissension tonight. It was there. One guy going home to mom. He's going to get the hell beat out of him by his mother. Mom's going to say, what the hell are you doing? You embarrassed me. You embarrassed him. If only your mom were alive to no, say the, that, the Trump. Papers, the fake news will say it was tremendous dissension. Tremendous. Yeah, one guy. And he's now scared stiff because he's got to go home to his mother. The mother will say, "We, I saw you in television. You embarrassed me. Bing, bing. <laughs> With your support, we're going to win the Wisconsin Republican primary in a landslide. That'll be in a few hours. All, and so. November 5th, we are going to win this state. We're going to I win the hear White House, and we are going Mike to Gallagher. save our country. We're going to save you think our country. think he'll do it? I predict he will. And what the hell was Biden thinking when he declared Easter Sunday to be Trans Visibility Day? <laughs> Misinformation. Such total of course, March 31st to was always Trans Visibility Day. Next, it's, it's next year. Is around. Next year, Christian Easter is on 420. I'm looking day forward to it. Christians turn out in numbers that nobody has ever seen before. The signs in the Let's crowd call say it Christian Visibility make Day. America uh, great again. I've just come from Grand Rapids, Michigan, where I was proud to receive the endorsement of the Police Officers Association of the entire state of Michigan. These are thousands and thousands of offices, and they said it was unanimous. I said, wait a minute, there wasn't, one, yes. there wasn't one negative vote. That's pretty cool. I also yeah, met really with local law enforcement yeah, leaders whose communities are being crushed by Biden migrant crime. You know, we have a new category of crime. It's called migrant crime. It was brought to you by the worst president in the history of our country, Joe Biden, sometimes referred to as crooked Joe Biden. He's crooked as a $3 bill. In Venezuela, crime is down. I'm sure you're going to be very happy to hear what? this. Crime is down in Venezuela by 67% because they're taking their gangs and their criminals and depositing them very nicely into the United States. Aren't you happy? Think of it. Who goes down 67%? They went down. Look at this man. I call him the wall. He's got the nicest suit. I want to get one of those suits. We built a lot of wall. We had the best numbers ever. We're going to put them up here. I think we're going to put them up pretty soon. You're going to see something that's, that just came out that's incredible. But think of it. Venezuela which was a lot of, that was an enemy when I left, an enemy and they were ready to fold. Now they're supplying us with oil. I wouldn't have even thought to buy oil from them. But more importantly, their crime rate is down to 60, it's down by 67%. And the On behalf of the nation, was he an oil broker? And well, criminals, and they brought him into the United States. Oh, wait till you see next year. They'll be pretty soon. They'll be at no crime, zero crime in the entire country of Venezuela, the beautiful country of Venezuela. In fact, we'll be going to Venezuela for vacations. Yeah, it's took a lot of. Build that wall. Make Venezuela pay for it. <laughs> He's at the downtown Green Bay Hyatt. That's Donald Trump, the former president. They're the sending prisoners, murderers, drug dealers, mental patients, terrorists. The worst of every and country sure is coming nice into people. our country I'm now. They're side. coming from the Congo, <laughs> Yemen, Somalia, Syria, all over the world. They're coming there. Country changing, country threatening, and their country wrecking. They're destroying our country. They're destroying, you know, 
We can drill and we can get the oil going. We can get, but this is a tough one. We're going to end up with the largest deportation what? in American history. We have no what, choice. What does drilling have to do with deportation no and immigrants? Right? Have no choice. We have no choice because that's not sustainable by any country. Last week in Grand Rapids, uh, Grand, Grand Rapids, Rapids, a Rapids. previously deported illegal alien criminal with multiple prior arrests, many, many arrests. For drunk driving, breaking into houses, arrests? and probation violations, was charged with right savagely now. murdering 25-year-old Ruby Garcia. Beautiful, perfect, beautiful, wonderful young girl, shooting her repeatedly with an illegally purchased handgun and dumping her body on the side of a highway to die. Under the Trump administration, we deported this monster. Long ago, we deported him, but under crooked Joe Biden, he was allowed to trespass back into our country and kill beautiful Ruby. Last week, because we had the strongest the, border the and the safest laws. border in the history of our country, and now we have the worst border in the history anywhere in the world. We have the worst border. Last week, another illegal alien criminal was arrested in Alabama for raping a mentally incapacitated 14-year-old girl. And in Chicago recently, an illegal alien gang member who was released into you know our country by crooked right, Joe Biden was arrested for a drive-by shooting that left a 27-year-old woman riddled with bullet holes all over her body died. I'm here tonight to declare that Joe Biden's border bloodbath, remember they used the name bloodbath, I was talking about something entirely different, but this is a border bloodbath, ends the day I take the oath of office. It so ends. now he's trying to what, desensitize people to his use of blood down. Blood bat, it's border, Biden's border you bat, vote, I blood will down. seal the border. I will stop the invasion. I will end the carnage, bloodshed, and killing. And we will crush the human traffickers. You know, they traffic in women, mostly in women. Yeah. We will vanquish the child the smugglers. And we will liberate this nation from Crooked Joe and his migrant armies of dangerous criminals once and for all. This is an invasion of our country. And by the way, hundreds of thousands of people between the drugs that come in the border and all of the death that's brought into the border in so many different ways, hundreds of thousands of people are being killed in our country every year. If we had a war with a country like Mexico, we wouldn't lose people like that. This is bigger than a war. Joe Biden is so weak on the border that other countries are now publicly taunting and extorting him by pumping migrants across our wide open border. They're opening their jails and they're opening their mental institutions and they're bringing them right in and nobody stops them. Nobody, nobody has any idea what's going on. Just this week, That's Mexico's president declared that they will keep the flood of illegal aliens pouring in. They're going to pour into our country unless Biden hands over $20 billion a year just to sit down. Do you think he'd say that to me? And I know him. He's a friend of mine. He's a nice man. I thought he he's a socialist, but you can't have everything, right? right? Wait, these young guys can't have Mexico everything. Mexico was going to pay for the wall. At least he's That's not a communist. He's a socialist. He's never got to communism, although who knows? That could be. That could be next. Look, twenty billion. Donald Trump years. live in Green Bay. Perhaps we'll come back here. Perhaps we won't. <laughs> Depends on how much broccoli we think we jammed down your gullets. A little cheese on top, devil's advocate style. Come back with us. It's a stormy Tuesday election day. Trump says, promise you'll go vote after the big rally. We got till 8. More Devil's Advocates. You know, Joe coming to Madison on Monday. Can't wait for his rally. Who's he going to declare a bloodbath on? We would not have had October 7th in Israel. I can guarantee you that. But we will (laughs) do all that we can and grants... Think of this, they want to grant mass amnesty, mass amnesty amnesty. to millions Uh of illegal aliens all throughout the United States. They want to give a mass amnesty. Other than that, he's doing a great job in immigration, right? This is the worst president in the history of our country. If I was president, no world leader would ever dare to talk to America that way. And they didn't. They had respect for us as a country. They respected me. You know, uh, if you look at... Prime Minister Orban of Hungary, he said, the only way you're going to clean up this world 
is if Trump becomes president again. I said, that's nice. So he got the endorsement of a dictator. I absolutely. That's fun. That's fun and cool. You got Victor Orban. Totally normal. Here we go. I don't know if you know the devil's advocates, but the show is kind of a big deal. And welcome back to the Devil's Radio Show. Phone lines are open. We will get to you at 844-967-2789. Right now, the former, the rapist, the, the fraudster, Donald Trump, speaking to the faithful up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. He was very happy to get endorsed by the dictator from Hungary. Uh, let's hear what the maniac's saying Victor now. Orban. He's a friend Joe of mine. Joe Biden is not respected and Joe Biden is not feared. He does, they don't care about him. The only well, the thing he's good at is cheating you. on elections <laughs> and disinformation. <laughs> disinformation. <laughs> you know, if pilots come in, he says, I used to fly planes. If truckers come in, he says, I used to, I used to truck. I used to drive a nice truck. I truck. His biggest lie of all, he said, did you ever see him swing a golf club? He's like this. He said he was a six handicap. He's not a six handicap. He's not a 36 handicap. Under That's my more like what you are, Trump, about a 36 handicap. Again, although you quickly, claim you're about a six. Like never before. Respected like never before. Joe Biden's flood of illegal aliens is not just bringing in massive crime, it's also bringing massive costs and massive. Problems, big problems, problems like we've never had a country like this, honestly. Hey, we've been here a long time. We've loved our country a long time. We've never seen such disrespect. Even the way China talks to us, like we're children, they never talk that way to me. Like when They're not I was on the playground that way to me. with China, Look no further they never than talk the small like that. town of Whitewater, Wisconsin. Does anybody know Whitewater? <laughs> After being inundated with Biden migrants, this tiny town now has a budget shortfall of over $400,000. Their public schools are straining with hundreds of new migrant students who don't speak a word of English. Their police force is being diverted from traffic stops to migrant crime, our favorite new term, migrant crime. It's a new category of crime. And their town is becoming a hotbed of cartel activity and illicit drugs like nobody's ever even envisioned before. A vote for Trump is a vote to save Wisconsin and it's a vote to save your country. This country is finished if we don't win this election. And I heard somebody say it, a scholar say it uh, two, three days ago said, You be careful, he could go win, off prompter. It could this be a may be the last stage. election our country ever has, and there could be truth to it. That's where we're going. Yeah. He's because projecting Joe Biden is a threat to democracy. He's the threat to democracy. Thank you. Thank you. A very unenthused four more years? I'm not convinced. I don't think the crowd's convinced. On day convinced. one, we will terminate every open borders policy of the Biden administration and begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history, starting with all of the criminals that are pouring in, the criminals and the terrorists. And you know who's going to tell us who they are? Our local police. Our local police, because our local police know their names, their middle names, their phone numbers. They know everything they about know them. Local One of the most important issues in this policy. race will be how Joe Biden's border invasion if someone's in a is also going known to terrorist, and you know his middle Medicare name and his location. And social Why didn't you go pick American him up? Seniors. What he's doing by allowing millions, 15 million, 20 million people this year, it'll be, I think it's already 15, he's destroying your social security. He's destroying your Medicare and many things else. He's also destroying your way of life. If the millions of Biden migrants are allowed to stay as Joe Biden intends, they will cost taxpayers trillions and trillions of dollars and Medicare and Social Security will buckle and they will collapse. You, you know, it's very tenuous. You understand that? Actually, yeah, they pay do into no those and they don't get the benefit. sustain what's happening. We are being invaded and invaded Max, by a Max. lot of people that are people we don't want We're in our country. Trump I will here. never, ever let that happen. Social Security will be strong and powerful. Like Medicare Britain, will Europe be strong. You deserve it. The Treasury Chain migration. will be raped, yes. plundered, and robbed bare to pay for welfare, free health care, free housing, 
food rape. stamps, Medicaid, and countless other public benefits. It's twice he's referenced rape. Think like, of it, the legions mind, like and legions something of close Biden to his migrants conscience. pouring into the... It's really becoming a third world country. We are actually becoming, if you think about it, a third world country. And oh, we're not going to no, let not, that happen. No, we're not, not going to let it happen. So to every Wisconsin voter, if you want to help Joe Biden wheel granny off the cliff, remember what they had? They had that with <laughs> Paul Ryan, not my favorite person, by the way. Oh, here comes oh, the trash talk. I remember after oh. I won the election in 2016, I had a like a hall very much like this. It was packed. And I introduced Paul Ryan. The place booed the hell out of him. I said, I guess they don't like him too much. That was when they used to like him by comparison. They like him a lot less now. If you want to help Joe Biden wheel granny off the cliff to fund government benefits for legals, then vote for crooked Joe Biden. But when I am president, instead of throwing granny overboard, I will send Joe Biden's illegal aliens back home. You're going back home. And if they know that, remember this, if they know Put that, they're not there. coming. Good, he says. You know, the problem is Biden got up and he said, welcome, everybody. Welcome to the world. We'll give you free education. We'll give you everything. But welcome to the world. And they came and they're coming now. There's a massive caravan right now coming Always through Mexico. Caravan. And nobody is stopping it. Unlike Biden and the open borders Democrats, I will always protect Medicare and Social Security for our great seniors. I will protect. Tell you what. Unless we need to give another tax cut. They to want rich to also people. increase the uh, the average age. You know that the minimum age. They want to increase it, and uh, we're not doing any of that. We have so much wealth under our feet in Ooh, liquid Rick gold Scott and so many and other things. We can do it without destroying your social guess. security and your Medicare. And I made that promise to you, and I kept that promise. Remember, there was an so old social security. And for four years, we never touched it. We let it be. And that's what's going to happen again. I make that promise to you. Because that's statutorily Your Medicare and your social works. security with or me will be safe. Or I'd rob that piggy bank. Trust them, me. It's not going to be safe. It's going to be destroyed. Not because they want to do it, although maybe they do, but I doubt it. But, but they do want people to come in endlessly. They had chances two weeks ago, four weeks ago, eight weeks ago. Even when I came in, I built 571 miles of wall. We had 200 miles sitting there waiting to be erected, far more than I said I was going to build. And that's one of the reasons the numbers are so good. You said and you were going to build the entire chart, wall. And Mexico when they put up that chart, it, you'll see recall. exactly what I'm talking about. Put it up anytime you can, fellas. There it is. Oh. Right there. See a that Trump low chart. spot? This is illegal migrants coming into our country. See the arrow on the bottom? That was my last week in office. That was the lowest number. In the middle of the pandemic? When this guy went to the beach, if he would have just left everything alone, he might have gone down as a decent president, at least on the border. He still had a lot Our of other graphs. problems. Let's face he worked it. well on the but radio on the border, and look at that number. That number so much lower than anything else. And then look at the right of that number. That's what happened after I graph? left. It was look an invasion of our country. They it's tell an me it's the greatest chart, graph actually. ever. It's a border patrol chart. But look at that low number. Got it, got it down to practically nothing. Now, people came in, but they came bragging, in legally. We want them to come in legally, right? It would have but about I as just, much you relevance. have to study that. I'll tell you what, even the fake news was impressed with that number. And they're not impressed with anything because they're fake. Yeah, it's fake no news. No one has I been hurt you, by I'm Biden's migrant by charts, invasion sir. more than our great African-American and Hispanic-American communities and union workers, right? Oh, I, I yes. think there must be a <laughs> minority in the crowd now. I think... Great. I think I heard a boisterous minority. Someone's and expressing their love women. for Trump. North Carolina here. You know, these from North women, Carolina. This is a, these are, 119 rallies that they've been to. And this isn't even a rally. Did I, did I mention <laughs> that these are the front row Joes that show up for every rally? These are not Wisconsinites. Any minority in that room tonight did not come from Wisconsin, not to support Trump. More Devil's Advocate support us. Come on back. A lot of them. There he is. There she is. Thank you very much. And thank you. I hope you're enjoying yourself because I am. And I hope you're able to get back when you go outside and you see about 12 feet of snow. <laughs> Biden has granted millions of work permits to illegal aliens, crushing wages for actual Americans while he drives up your gas prices by 50 percent, 60 percent, 75 percent. And by the way, if you notice, 
Energy costs are going up a lot over the last month. But while Biden has betrayed African Americans and Hispanic Americans, union workers and everyone else, I will fight for you like never before. You know, the unions will fail because of what's happening here. The unions will not be able to sustain this. The unions are going to be, uh, they're not going to be unions very long. They're not going to be able to sustain it. But I think the worst hurt will be the African Americans. Then you're going to have the Hispanic Americans. They're going to be hurt tremendously by this invasion. Empathy it is indeed an invasion. Racial minorities. And it's if, not, if I ever thought it may be in I some cases, but I'll tell you, they're coming from places that you don't want them to come from. In my first term, we built the greatest Are economy we done in the with history this, of the world. I think we we had record tax this. cuts and regulation sure. cuts and rising wages. I mean, I don't care how vegetarian you are. You can only eat so much broccoli, man. Yeah, let's move Can't along. Keep, sh- uh, keep like, playing it in case he says something totally inflation. crazy. Now the inflation's a record Gallagher number. Could be something. 75%. You know, they like to say it's 58%, inflation. but 50 would probably 75%. And anything you made is more than wiped out. Look at your grocery bill. When you go for groceries now, you're paying three times what you paid two years ago. Joe Biden squandered everything we did under the catastrophe of Bidenomics. He thinks it's a good term. It's a horrible term. Wisconsin manufacturing workers are suffering, and Milwaukee's third. 30th Street Industrial Corridor is being gutted. They're all leaving. Just last week, Master Lock, I buy Master Locks, closed down. And now I won't buy them anymore. <laughs> They're not making it. Well, They're they going to make them out. in Mexico now. They're moving to Mexico and to China. Thanks, Master Lock. We appreciate it. But it's really yet another Biden surrender. We don't let them do that. We can't do that. How, how do so what you do is you put tariffs on them. So the locks cost so oh, much, I have to say. You know, it's not that complicated, but some people think it is. Some people think, oh, that's so terrible. You know, we took in hundreds of billions of dollars from China. No president billions ever took in 10 cents, not 10 cents. And, and we billions. gave 28 billion of it to your farmers, many of the people in Wisconsin. Got it. Oh, he subsidized the farmers to twenty-eight billion dollars, and it was never paid back. And you think it's easy giveaway. to get twenty-eight billion for the farmers from President Xi? Uh, you didn't. Let's see you who didn't. else can do it. I said, would you like to give our farmers $28 billion? And the reason is they were taking advantage of our farmers for many, many years before I got there. And I went to our Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue. I said, Sonny, what's the damage that was done? He said, over a period of two or three years, it was about $28 billion. I said, that's okay. They're going to pay us back. And they did. They paid us. They gave us $28 billion and distributed every penny of that to the farmers and some of the people in this room. Oh, God. You think Joe Biden is thinking away. about getting money from China for the farmers? He just wants to go to sleep. Leave me alone, darling. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. That would never have happened under under me where you go, hey. You never slept look, when I was. That, that they allowed that to happen, to put us in a position where we were horribly treated. Our farmers were so badly treated, but we got the money back. And you remember I said, it's going to take a little while, this negotiation. But think about buying a bigger tractor and more land, right? And six months later, it happened. They broke, and they gave us the best deal, one of the greatest trade deals ever. But then when COVID came, I, I don't even talk about that trade deal anymore because COVID was so devastating for the world. I call it the China virus because I like to be Let's be done. I think I, even I can't take any more Trump today. And I like to make fun of him. I mean, but it's that, hard to he, hear you when... It, it steps on you. The Trump sound was stepping on your comments. So if we can't hear you sh- crapping on him, then let's, let's. Yeah, I mean, I can't control any of that. So that's fine. Right. That's yeah. Well, I know I've, I've been watching dude ride the game, trying to give you a little window of sound, but who cares? Trump's done. If Eric Hovde comes on, I'll leave this up just so we can see. Well, if he they won't. I don't think he'd bring Hovde up at this late hour. That would be weird. I, yeah. You said that Ron already spoke, right? Yeah. A while ago. Okay. Here we go. Lies, lies. The big and tall of the political talk. True. The devil's advocates. Lies, lies. Welcome back to the devil. Advocates Radio Show, the Election Day Edition, the Opening Day Edition, Donald Trump and Green Bay Edition. A happier happy hour, because wow. we're done playing it. <laughs> yeah, By you. popular 
demand the text audience. They <laughs> blowing us up on the text line. I'm like, ordinarily I listen to your show and no offense, but while Trump is on, I have to change the station. A little offense. Here's another one. Please make it stop. <laughs> we did it. Stop. We promise. Uh, some asked why no locker up chance. And uh, please stop making us listen to this useless <laughs> moron. Well, you know, Dom's part of the show. I can't help that. <laughs> I, I think four, four. Four. I, I think you're maybe, maybe hey, I mean, it's, it's they, they were clear on the text line. <laughs> yeah, well, You'll have I'll, to text back. I'll assume. I'll assume. 844-967-2789. Trump in Green Bay. He's still going. They, we're we're oh, monitoring. Oh, oh, my biggest takeaway. The guy literally said there's hundreds of thousands of murders uh, by migrants every year in this country. Something like well, he's combining the death total of the the scourge of drugs, and apparently like half a dozen murders per year by uh, former or migrants that don't have legal status. But you know, it's the fentanyl, Dom. But there was a big opioid crisis while Donald Trump was the president. There will be a big opioid crisis. Whoever's the president in 2025, this ain't solving itself. And, and they're shoving this demand down our throats to a certain degree, but I would be looking to China. I mean, a lot of this is coming from China. A lot of the meth is coming here. Uh, pardon me. Fentanyl is coming from China. And I doubt, uh, that the way Trump expresses this, this is worse than a war. Well, he's also said what he was going to interdict into Mexico and go after the cartel. He's just going to start a war. Start bombing I mean, Mexico. I think we've been fighting the drug war since Nixon. How are we doing? I don't think we're winning. Anyways, 844-967-2789, a patient. Heath from DeForest. He might be deaf by now, but welcome, Heath. What do you got for us? <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. I, you know, <laughs> thank you for shutting off Trump. <laughs> uh, You're welcome. I couldn't listen to that anymore. Uh, it's just so terrible to listen to that over and over again. I feel like you guys can't stop um, saying, you know, as many times as possible, how, you know, they, they he's the one that shut down the deal uh, to do something about the border. And, you know, for anybody else that's listening, right, uh, this guy was president for four years. He had a majority two of those years in both houses, uh, you know, House and Senate, and did nothing you know, to actually address this problem. I, everything this guy says is a lie, and it's just, it's terrible to, to listen to. Uh, you know, I, like you, Booty, served. Uh, I uh, was overseas twice in Iraq. And, you know, the, 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 the thing with this guy that, that it, of all the things that, that he has done and said, you know, there's so many, the list is so long, we could, you could have 25 of these shows and never get through all of them. But the thing that sticks in my craw after all these years is his treatment of John McCain. And for a man who spent, I believe, five years in a Vietnamese prison camp after having been shot down, and, and this, this man you know, calling him a loser. Do you remember this? Yeah. I, I just, he said, I prefer, I, I, the, I, I prefer people that don't get shot down and captured. And I mean, yeah. McCain actually... Beyond courage, I, I, it's unbelievable the amount of torture and stuff that John McCain went through. But John McCain, yeah, right. as the what the son of uh, the the naval officer could have could have used that as leverage to free himself, an yep. and chose not to. He chose to stay yeah. with his men, even though he's being tortured. I mean, that's more courage. Yeah, just, Trump, Captain Cadet Bone Spurs. I mean, the guy claimed his his Vietnam was you know, dodging STDs in the club scene in, in New York City. Right. Yeah, exactly. This guy's had a, a silver spoon in his mouth his entire life. Uh, he's done nothing. Or his nose, but I'm just saying. Yeah, ex no, absolutely. I, I, that, this, the, the thing with John McCain encompasses every single thing you need to know about Donald Trump. Uh, he has no honor. He, uh, he doesn't know what the word respect is. Uh, he is a terrible person. Uh, he will be a terrible president again if 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 Americans are dumb enough to elect this guy. He, he is poison. Well, he made the unbelievable statement coming from Grand Rapids, 
as he slurred his way through the words, but he said Trump said he was coming from Grand Rapids where he got the unanimous support of the Michigan State Police Association Union, whatever it was. A, unbelievable. Yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, of course, there wasn't a unanimous endorsement, but let's say he did get the endorsement. I mean, this was the guy that encouraged his followers to go after the Capitol police officers on January 6th. When this guy claims right. he's law and order and back the blue and all that stuff, how they don't see through it, I don't understand, Heath. Be it the military, be it the I police. Don't I don't know how anyone supports this guy. People of character and honor that do sign up to serve have to know that that's not what that guy is. No, it absolutely is. He he doesn't stand for anything. Uh, he he eats his own. I, I honestly, I still think this guy is going to lose horribly in November. Uh, I, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but uh, was it well, the, and he's uh, not going to accept um, it though. He the nor will his followers. And at what point, you no. know, because Trump's going to be Trump, man. You know, what does it say about the rest of humanity? Right. What does it say about his followers uh, and those that would vote for him, knowing? The very obvious character flaws this man has. Do we, do we? Is it fair for us to judge the Trump voter like we judge Trump? Yeah, I, th I think these people they 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 just they they you know they've listened to all the hype and you know we we uh, I was just watching Fox News the other night. I'm sure you guys have to listen to this stuff all the time. You know, and the, the ludicrous things they're saying. We know they lie to. I mean, they want a half a billion dollar lawsuit they had to settle. Yeah, I, I mean. The, the people that are listening to right-wing media, they're, they're being fed a line of garbage. And I think really what has to happen is, you know, everybody who, who understands who this man is just has to have those honest conversations. That's what scares me is so many people, one of the many things that scares me about this man, is it's so many people, uh, they don't want to have these hard conversations with family and friends yeah. and really discuss, like, you know, things like his, his, uh, his treatment of John McCain and, 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 and point out these things to their friends and families. It, it, I think when people have those conversations, it, it's pretty difficult. It, so even Republicans now know what this man's like. And, and you know, if, if you have those conversations, honestly, not screaming and just tell people, you know, what you think, I think they have to begin to understand it, you know, and, and, and internalize what kind of person he is because he doesn't even like Republicans. Heath, I'm going to cut you short there. Thank you. Appreciate your contribution. I do want to make a comment. I don't forgive the Trump supporters anymore. Once upon a time, 2016, man, systems broke. I'm going to continue to break it. I'm going to vote for something different, an outsider. I could understand that sentiment. But not after 2020, not after the January 6th, and certainly not extended into this elective cycle. Heath, if someone's still out there and they're still supporting Donald Trump, that does speak to their character. There's something wrong with them. And I am very encouraged and I get more and more encouraged. And I'm surprised to be saying this, Dom, <laughs> yeah. about the hush money trial, the voter deception trial that's coming down the pike on April 15th, because you know, who's going to give the testimony, you know, who's going to be there offering testimony. People like Hope Hicks, Donald Trump's. Number one girl is Hopi is going to be there as a witness for the prosecution because she was his press secretary during the 2016 campaign. It's also going to be people like Stormy Daniels and the unfortunately named David Pecker over at the uh, National Enquirer, Dom. These are going to be friends and Republicans testifying against Donald Trump for his actions in the 2016 election because that was sort of a precursor. That was sort of a, you know, a starter pack on insurrection, Dom. Because this was an effort to disinform, to hide his actions from the American public immediately before the election. So what was the underlying action? It's not illegal to pay off a porn star, but it is when you cook the books to do it. When you do it to hide it from the American people, and in the midst of an election, I mean, the, the, the timing of these things matter. Uh, if he'd have done it, you know, 10 years ago, he paid her off, kept her quiet. No big deal. But he was running for president at the time, coming off uh, the, the Hollywood access tape. He didn't want any more of this getting out there. So he, he paid her off, election interference, and then cooked the books. Business fraud. 
But of course, we know what Donald Trump is, and he continues. He, he continued to do it. And he's finally, finally, maybe coming around. But Crudy, you never know. I mean, this is the king of delay. Roster reporting: Donald Trump filed notice that he will demand Judge Juan Marchan recuse himself at the New York City election. Uh, inter uh, interference case involving the hush money deal. Not really even the first time he's show. He's not. He's making this request for the umpteen time. At some point, these judges lose appetite for this guy calling for recusal over and over and over again. Why? Because he extended the gag order because Trump attacked his daughter. That's the reason. Well, he's clearly got a personal vested interest. I've been attacking his daughter for weeks. And he extended a further gag order saying, I couldn't do so. He's clearly subject to recusal. Now, I mean, come on, man. The same judge is not going to buy that argument. He didn't buy the last time Trump asked it. He's Here's not going to recuse. Your honor has an interest in this case that warrants recusal. There is an unacceptable risk that the court's family relationship will influence judicial conduct. Lawyers uh, claim the motion will be filed on Wednesday. Of course, we know that uh, Trump attacked the daughter. Uh, another quote, your honor's daughter is making money by supporting the creation and dissemination of campaign advocacy for President Trump's opponent, political rivals, and the Democrat Party. It can no longer be ignored that authentic commercial interests are benefited by developments in this case that harm President Trump's penal interests and divert his efforts from running his leading campaign. His leading that's, campaign. <laughs> that, that's a stretch, isn't it? So if I understand the argument here, Merchant's grown daughter, who apparently has an opinion of her own, Dom, I mean, it's the First Amendment when Trump does it, but if Merchant's daughter has an opinion about Trump, it's got yes. awful. Yes, yes. But she apparently is, is what's what's her crime, Dom? Oh, she She's, works in, in, in politics for Dems. God forbid. I mean, not right? Imagine. Why not just hang her like you do to your vice presidential? Hey, who's Trump's VP going to be? Does it matter? I mean, who's the next one that's going to get in line to get hung by, <laughs> by Donald Trump? I mean, that's a tough job. If, if he doesn't like your, your decision-making, he's going to call on the bobs to hang your ass. <laughs> right. My vice president didn't have the strength and wisdom to do what needed to be done. If someone would just rid me of this pesky vice president. 844-967-2789. Dave from Waukesha. Welcome, sir. What do you got for us? Hello, Dave. Hi. Um, am I in the air right now? Yes, you, you are. are. Okay. I just wanted to touch base on what the first caller said with uh, McCain. Um, it's been proven that Trump's deferments were false. The doctors came clean. I think there's something wrong with a man being able to lead our country or even run for president when it was proven that he wasn't man enough to defend our country. He wouldn't step up to the plate. That's like, I really, you know, people cast him out like he was at the plague or something when he wouldn't uh, go with Cassius Clay, whatever, wouldn't go um, serve. Conscientious ob objector. Well, Trump, Trump was just a draft dodger, man. Call a spade a spade. He, he just had dodger. a... He wouldn't defend his country. He shouldn't be able to, he shouldn't be able to run for president, period. Well, well, it's almost like you trade up. I'm, I'm with you on that. But again, it, there's no requirement that you, you know, must serve or in the Constitution. During a draft, there is actually a requirement that you must serve if you are drafted. He uh -oh. got a yes. un... There's a, or, or, or to be a president, that's not one of the requirements. You know, age, citizenship, those kinds of things. And Dave, it's a great point. I agree with you philosophically. But again, this goes to the character of those who are vote for him. If you think Donald Trump is strong around the world, then where was he then? And do you have any problem with that? Apparently, Dave, they've made their answer very clear to every one of these questions. His voters don't care. Unfortunately, Jimmy Carter pardoned all the Vietnam draft dodgers. And I think that would include Trump. Come back. One last segment for your calls. 844-96-PARTY. home for Nightlight with Peach Schwaba. This is Chad Spade for Chad's Design Build. We're proud By the way, Trump is indeed still going, and, and he called out uh, in our industry. Glenn Grothman, Tom Tiffany, you love to Brian Shimmy, a bunch of other people. Their homes. And um, he was like, oh yeah, and Eric Hovde, great guy, Eric Hovde. 
um, and just, you know, had him stand up and wave, and that was it. Management and craftsmanship, all in a nurturing, positive workplace. Whether you're thinking about remodeling your home or considering joining our team, go to chatsdesignbuild.com to learn more. It reminds me of porn, which makes me think of sex, of course, and of rape, which I keep talking about constantly because I can't stop doing it. And have a secure future. If they like working with their hands and want to help build up surrounding communities, they should consider a career in the skilled trades through a four-year apprenticeship as a union carpenter. To learn more, it's easy. The Devil's Advocates, the fix for political junkies everywhere. Radio show, our last segment of the day. If you got something to say, hit us up on the lines right now, 844-967-2789. Stick around, Busted Pencils, coming up next. Uh, apparently, our pal Aaron, who's sitting in for Rich, who's at opening day, Brewers 1-3-2. All right, go Brew Crew. Welcome to the Brewers postgame show right here on <laughs> the Devil's Advocates Radio Network. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Go Brewers. 4-0 on the young season. I forget what I was saying. So uh, something about me, oh, but I'm not sure what. Draft, uh, oh, he was, he was monitoring the Draft Dodgers little rally, Trump's rally in Green Bay. Which yeah. is still going, by the way. Which is still going. Trump's still at the podium. So this quick rally, no such thing. Yeah, and we're you sparing know, the audience. You're we right. are sparing you at this point. But Trump apparently did a shout out to all the favored Republican Congress people from the state of Wisconsin. Did he mention Derek Van Orden, Aaron? Uh, if he did, I missed it. Oh, it'd be a shame if Derek Van Orden didn't get a shout out I mean, from how, his how about, how about Cheeto Grof Messiah. How about oh, Grothy did. Yeah, yeah Glenn Gr Love. He did. So did Tom Tiffany. So did Eric Hovde. So did uh, Brian Schimming. Uh, those those no, are the ones no, that I no saw. Mike Gallagher, huh? That's weird. No. <laughs> I think it's interesting that apparently he did a little shout out to Hudvey and had him stand up and wave, do a little debutante wave, apparently. I'm surprised he didn't compliment the porn stash. Aaron and I were just enjoying a little conversation off air you know, reminds him of porn, which makes him think of sex and rape, which he talks about often. Yes, rape was mentioned. Just during the twice. speech, at least uh, twice. Mm -hmm. Just while we were monitoring. Yeah, other people's rape, you know, not not his own. He, you know, doesn't talk about that. 844-967-2789. I would wonder, Eric Hudby, Hudby? Hudby. He appeared on the stage with a rapist tonight. Now, he, I think, evermore as a candidate for this higher electoral office, this Senate race, is going to have to answer the call. You got a problem with Trump raping E. Jean Carroll and allegedly up to 20 be, other women? Not just Hubby, but shouldn't it be everybody, every every congressman, every Republican in the state of Wisconsin, across the country, every Trump supporter? I mean, every one of Depends them. Depends on whether or not you got up and did the debutante wave with the man at the Green <laughs> Bay rally, I would say. Answer that question. Along well, with a dozen others. But we know the answer. Oh, that's fake. We don't care. They don't care. They don't care. I would also say the enabling of the January 6th is a disqualifying factor as far as we're concerned on this little radio product. Um, I got I got the, the the YouTube up, the Newsmax. That's you know up, up on the on the YouTubes and all the comments on there. Well, J6 was a setup, Crudy. Don't you know? It's false a, it's flag. A, yeah, false flag. B big hoax. Big hoax. Nothing to see here. And this is what we're dealing with. 967-2789. I know. I deal with you each and every day. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. L.A. Tom, how's it going on the leftist coast? Hey, Tom. Hey, guys. Actually, it's probably a nice day. But uh, first, we the people ultimately are the government, and we must never forget that. Power lies within us. Um, second, if Republicans are spewing it, you can bet they're doing it. Everything Donald Trump says up there, is basically exactly what he does. And you know what? I got a little bit skeezed out when he was talking about that 14-year-old, beautiful, most beautiful girl in the world. I'm thinking, oh, man, are you going on another uh, airplane ride with... Um, uh, Heading down to Lolita Island with Epstein? You know, talking about yeah, the sex Epstein. trafficking, I'm thinking he knows a little something, or at least he had a buddy who allegedly did. 
He most certainly does. I think he always had a thing for the younger women. He used to own the Miss Teen World pageant, didn't he, Tom? Had a bad habit of going backstage and catching the women in stages of semi-dressed. I guess these would be girls, but felt like he could do that because he owned the pageant. They yeah, couldn't stop owns, him. You know, if you're a big star, well, it lets you do anything, Curdy. Well, especially if you own the pageant. Yeah, well, let me ask you. I mean, literally, uh, the, the, the speed, the delivery of Trump's speech today. Did it seem like that guy did a couple of bumps before he got on stage? Because he did not stop to take a breath. I mean, he was talking super, super fast. Any, any, uh, any thought on that, Michael? That he might have had that silver spoon up his nose? <laughs> he may have had something. You know, they uh, talked about Joe Biden. Oh, Joe Biden. You know, they, they, the Republicans, they always say this stuff about Sleepy Joe when Joe comes out and he's not so sleepy. They must but, drug him up. <laughs> but what it's, the hell it's almost like they've seen that? that happen. I have never seen an elderly human being get drugged up to go out on stage and give a speech. Be it Joe, be it Trump. But I don't see what happens backstage, man. You know, I don't know what he does in the bathroom. Ever see the on ever Trump Force the wall, One? Man. <laughs> I mean... My hands are like balloons, baby. I know there are times when we are more or less able to speak. We call it Monday mouth occasionally. So, you know, I'm I'm not going to say I'm not guilty of losing a word mid-sentence occasionally. Oh, but pronouncing something wrong. Yeah, sure, that'll happen. You know, we do smoke weed copiously, so that could affect it as well. See the Germans legalized? We can go to Germany now and smoke oh, recreational congratulations, marijuana. Germany. What took you so long? First day, April Fool's Day was their official first day of weed day. No problems reported. Everybody's pretty chill there. <laughs> really? So the sky didn't fall? Cats and dogs <laughs> living together? Mass hysteria? That didn't happen? You know, we got a lot of German immigrants here in the state of Wisconsin. I was hoping we could perhaps follow their fine example down. And someday move beyond prohibition here in our great state. Well, the name Robin Voss doesn't seem very, I don't know, Italian to me. So, you know, maybe we should speak to the assembly leader in the state of Wisconsin. I don't understand the Italian reference. I'm sorry. Well, he's Voss seems German to me. So you got to talk to German. Oh, I didn't know. Voss um, is German. I'm guessing. I'm not saying that that's the case, but it certainly doesn't sound Italian. I got gotcha. you. Folks, we are the devil's advocates. What's what's it got to do with the Italians? Because you think Foss might be a German, but he's not pro weed. I'm sorry, Dom. I <laughs> yeah, didn't, didn't mean to make that. you explain <laughs> the joke to me, but I just I just don't get what you're going with there. You have a history of bad analogies. I just should have gone down that and said, okay. <laughs> I don't understand, but you know, what's changed? Follow man doesn't mean it's a bad analogy, but it was an analogy. It was a pun. Uh, was it a pun? Was it a joke? Or the devil's advocates. Pun and a joke. You're not very punny, Dom. I'm just saying. Thank yeah, you yeah, to yeah, yeah. my fine guest, Green Bay Mayor Jim Schmidt. Give us a little preview of what was about to happen. And, you know, sorry to all those that got stuck listening to Trump. Go Brewers. They're 4 0 on the young season. 3 2 victors over the Twins. And tomorrow's game, I don't think, interferes with our big show. Okay. So we'll expect all of you promptly at three, except for Dom, who shows up about four. Have a great night. Busted Pencils is next. And then Pete Schwaba, the nightlight. He covered the Trump event from the Shame. entertainment section earlier today. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Yes.